everyone, this is Dr. Karma Bryant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. And as you know, it's always a great honor and a pleasure to come and talk to each and every one of you, to the new subscribers on the uh, YouTube um, channel. Thank you so much for joining this rainbow tribe. We are international, we are global from every part of the country. And so we are a rainbow tribe of different nationalities, different belief system. Thank you so much for joining and thank you for finding something relevant that I have to say. So today I wanted to talk about the cost of your recovery. Uh, my mentor did a video this morning and, um, and, I, and I pay particular attention to a lot of things that she says and something just resonated, well always, but something just resonated just in my soul and I thought about it I said, wow, you never really think about the cost of your recovery. Um, and sometimes we can become lazy in our recovery. And um, because of the type of abuse that you've been through with a narcissist, um, sometimes people become lazy. And the expectation is that someone else is responsible for helping you to feel better, which is actually not, well, we know that is not true. You know, even in the um, area of mental health counseling, counseling, when people come in to see me, you know, some people don't have experience with counseling. And then some people are just not ready to take upon that responsibility because it requires work. It requires effort. It requires tears. It requires sweat. You know, you're going to go just like people that have been addicted to drugs. And one of my um, viewers, one of my subscribers who I haven't seen in a while, I'm going to have to go look for him. Um, but he, um, he gave us information when we used to do lives. Um, and he, um, he let the, the audience know that he used to be a heroin. I think it was a heroin addict, meth or heroin addict. I think it was a heroin addict, um, but he talked about his recovery process. You know, he put it in the comments. He was talking about his recovery process and how hard the recovery process was. You know, the relapses, the, you know, some people have drug um, dreams, you know, the process of recovery or going into treatment, you know, this is hard. It's easy to get addicted to something, but it's even harder to, to uh, recover from whatever that addiction is. And I want you to put yourself in this mind frame. Um, I was reading some articles and I was watching, like if you go on, um, not just YouTube, but on Facebook, you'll see a lot of people, or even on television, you see a lot of people talk about their recovery from cancer. You know, you see them through their stages of cancer. I think this one girl had a really big neck and, and she was very, very pretty. And then all of a sudden you see her in the bed while, bed while she's going through the, the um, chemotherapy. Her neck is really big. She's all swollen. She looks horrible. Her hair is gone and she used to have beautiful hair. Uh, then you see other people who have had breast, um, uh, uh, they had the, um, what is it called? When they have um, breast cancer and then they end up having the, is it mastectomy? Uh, we're taking both of their breasts. Some people don't go back to go get breasts and some people do and they feel, uh, I've, I've heard women say that they feel less than a woman because of the scarring, you know, but they find the best out of it. Some don't go get breasts, some go do get breasts, you know, uh, but they take what has happened to them and they make the best of it and they go out to educate people because they understand what it felt like. Um, another thing I want you to think about is I was watching um, where uh, people have been paralyzed. They've been shot. You know, they've lost their limb. They lost the use of their limbs. They've they've, they've become quadruple quadriplegics, there we go, uh, or paraplegics, you know, they've been wheelchair bound, you know, all these things that have happened and they go through this intensive physical therapy to assist them with, uh, you know, because the neurological system is thrown off and so they're fun, something that we take, um, you know, for granted are fine motor skills, you know, picking up a pencil or pen and, and writing, you know, if you watch babies when they're little, you know, they take the, and they just, you know, either they try to eat it or, you know, they, they don't have the fine motor skills yet, so they're learning fine motor skills some of you guys do stitch work or some of you guys braiders you know some uh, my cousin is a braider and she has very tiny fingers but she can braid your eyebrows if you let her she is an excellent braider and she and she's very meticulous and very neat braids you know but you would take advantage of the fact the fine motor skills that you have learned and so in a in a major accident where people have been in a major accident, the nervous system, the, the neurological system has been thrown off. There's been brain damage. And so that portion of the brain that was, you know, in other words, grew up and has been uh, uh, matured, you know, has lost use of it. You know, they have to go back to speech therapy to learn how to form words. They go back to learn fine motor skills. Something as simple as picking up a spoon and feeding themselves is not, you know, being able to balance when they want. You know, we get up out of the chair and we walk back and forth we don't think anything of it before a person that has been through a traumatic event something as simple as standing up just standing up period and balancing themselves without falling over you know well you have to think okay you guys excuse me so i'm trying to get my hair and it's annoying i'm distracted i'm sorry but 
uh, something as uh, as horrible as narcissist abuse has thrown your equilibrium off, has thrown off your neurological system, has thrown off your, um, you know, your uh, immune system, has thrown off your perception of how the world and people are. You have problems with connecting with people. You have problems because you have been so tormented. Um, and, you know, and, and the hardest thing is to hear outside people that know the narcissist, you know, downplay how serious the situation was because they didn't witness what was going on in the home. And so here you're trying to defend yourself. You knew what you've been through. Through. And here you have people that are supporting, you know, these flying monkeys and 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 those that are supporters of the narcissist downplaying your experience. And you know that you're walking around with a brain fog. And so the price of recovery is 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 costly. You know, the price that you paid in your body and your mind when you have been abused, when you have been, you know, the things that you have been through. So when you recover, you have to hold on to that re that recovery. You have to stay no contact. But there's a price that you pay and something that my mentor said um that that i remember saying when i was talking about recovery and it just resonated with me it just you know when when you make a decision to recover or to leave the narcissist when you're in a recovery you have to count the cost of what you're going to go through and that means the withdrawal symptoms the pain the hurt the loneliness you know uh you know just like those that are coming off of meth or heroin the night sweats the the nightmares you know you're looking at all the wonderful things and you take and you don't take in consideration what made you leave and all the horrible things because of course there are great things that have happened with a narcissist you went on vacation you know they hugged you they loved on you um you know they bought you this they did this so a lot of times that cognitive dissonance you know where you look at all these wonderful things the great sex you may have had for some of you guys said the garbage sex that you had but you you were trauma bonded and they all when they love bomb that love bomb feels that love bombing feels so good but you got caught up in the moment dealing with emotions and not using the logic for a minute you let yourself go you put all your guards down and so now the price that you have to pay for the recovery recovery cost believe it or not um those of you that have a uh, have a technical technic technic technical degree or technical certificate uh, yeah technical certificate like massage therapist or construction or whatever um or those of you that have college education you know with the student loans you know with the price that you paid to go to college to get that you know it costs. I have a $96,000 certificate on that wall. That's a doctor degree. That piece of paper cost me $96,000. The education that went behind it and that certificate, that was $96,000. There's no one that can tell me that I'm not really a doctor. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even argue with that because my pockets say different. You see what I mean? So there was a price that you've paid for the education that you got. And now you have to take that education because you can have as much education as you want to. Remember, as many, like Bishop Jake said, that you can have you know, as many degrees as a thermometer. That doesn't make you knowledgeable. That doesn't mean that you know what you're talking about. Now you just have head knowledge. But can you put your experience together? Can you provide that information? information for other people when you see other people you know um prosper from the information and the knowledge and the education that you got that is letting you know that your education is working for you not the fact that you're walking around with a degree you know not that you're walking around with a with a title but when other people are progressing from the education and the knowledge that you have so that means it costs something it, you paid a price for that you know those people that have stayed up nights writing papers uh those of you that have been in physical therapy and speech uh therapy those of you that are looking for counselors it costs to recover and the recovery phase is very painful no one said it was going to be easy that you have to make up in your mind what do you want to do do you want to keep talking about your pain now some of you are fresh out fresh discard you know you guys this is a shock you're learning something new i don't know what happened you have the right to grieve you know you have the right to be you know you're confused what has happened i don't i don't get what happened you know take the opportunity to pay the price to listen to these videos or other people that you enjoy listening to that just you know everything that i say may not work for you it may not you know it, it may not work for you. So you have to find what works for you in these videos, what videos resonate with you and really touch you uh, and other people, you know, as, as I always say, the first person I started listening to was, was Angie Atkinson. Then I found um, Little Shaman. Then I found Associate DeRay, who was a man talking about it. You know, uh, there were some other ones. Um, uh, uh, 
some somebody lying i can't think of uh the name uh but there are other people you know sarah speaks um melanie tonya evans you know all these people i began listening and what and i took the information that that worked for me that that you know that was on my level of understanding um and and applied it to uh when i was doing counseling for people in domestic violence i'm like oh my gosh i said the exact same thing but i didn't know to say it like this or oh i didn't put these two together and so but the price it costs you know you you can't expect to, for people to help you for free, you know, because you, you, it caught. If you want a computer, you have to pay for it. You want to live in an apartment? You got to pay for the apartment. Go and tell them, you know, you should be trying to help me from being homeless. And the apartment's going to be like, you have 30 days to pay your rent. I tell you what, you don't pay your rent. You will be moving out of this apartment and you find somewhere else, you know, to stay. Um, uh, so you guys know, you can't just expect people to provide you with free stuff. Now, I provide a lot of things on these YouTube videos because I understand that not everyone can afford coaching. I understand that. Uh, I have links underneath my YouTube videos um, for those of you that really can't afford the coaching. Um, but may be able to afford a, a nominal fee, a uh, monthly fee with uh, betterhelp.com backslash Dr. Carmen, where you can put in information. Don't look for a, a person that specializes in narcissism. Look for a person that specializes in trauma, trauma, um, domestic violence, psychological abuse. You know, those are the ones that you're looking for. Now, if they do specialize and they understand narcissist abuse, that is a thumbs up. You know, that's what you want to go for. But when you're filling out the paperwork and you're looking, you're vetting for the counselors, you know, but you You've got to pay a price whether you have insurance and you have to pay a copay um you know if you're looking for when you're looking for good um you know if it, it for some of for, for some people they have state insurance so you can't really afford anything other than than um what what the insurance allows you so i understand that some of you guys are on social security so there's only so much um that you can do and that's understandable uh, when you start going to people that really are doing major things to change you in your life that cost recovery cost you know recovery costs not just finances but emotionally cost because it is painful to recover you have to open up old wounds i think someone said it on here you when you have a wound you have to open up that wound you have to clean that wound out you have some kind of medication to prevent from having MRSA or any kind of staph infection or infections that can cause gangrene you know so it, it is a process you know and and then the stitches and then the healing and then making sure you're, you're managing that well there's no difference with dealing with your soul dealing with your heart dealing with your mind and when you have been through trauma so much you really have to make up your mind to make a decision do I want to recover and then count the cost in your head of what is going to what is going to be required of you to recover you already know it's going to open up old wounds you already know that you may have you may have some sleepless nights you already know you're going to have some withdrawal symptoms you already know you might be crying every night for many nights you know you already know that that narcissist, the type of narcissist, here we go again, I'm sorry, y'all, but um, that, that type of narcissist that you may have, especially if you have a somatic uh, narcissist, um, that narcissist may do things to purposely trigger you, sending pictures by accident to your phone of them and their new source of supply, you know, posting on social media, all the wonderful things that they're, they are doing with their new source of supply, using your children to send pictures of them and their new source of supply. Um, as you know, I'm just showing pictures to my children to, you know, to show them what I do, but you know, that those pictures are for you to trigger you, to make you say something, to make you react. Those are the things you have to take in consideration dealing with the individual that you dealt with some of them were cerebral they were thinkers so they're always trying to outthink you you already know that when you're dealing with child support cases you have to make sure that you get all your stuff in order de depending on the type of narcissist that you have you know do you have a support system lined up do you have legal uh, representative lined up do you have a, a legal advocate a domestic violence advocate where and I keep telling you guys those of you that cannot afford you know legal go to the domestic violence um, programs you can find them on online you have the national domestic violence hotline where they will connect you with resources within your community you know they like here they have the crystal judson um justice center and they have the ywca that are also connected with um um, lawyers or legal firms that will assist by connecting you with for example with um the, the not the legal advocates but like the um 
uh, I can't think of the legal, not secretaries, but those are the ones that help you get the paper together and they tell you, okay, get this together, file this right here, do this right here, you know, submit this right here. They'll guide you through the process, you know, and to give you some wisdom on what you're doing. But it costs to, in the military, freedom is not free. You know, we talk about it all the time. Freedom is not free. Someone paid a price for you to be free and, and, and supported the Constitution of the United States of America. When we swear in, you know, whether officer or enlisted, when we swore in in the military, it said that we swear or we affirm that we will support the Constitution of the United States of America and those that are assigned over us as leaders. Just because you may not like a president that's in office, you know, as a military member, that doesn't mean you don't support the um, the Constitution of the United States of America. We don't speak negative of it. We have our own personal opinions of any you no know, sitting president. But at the same time, the the sitting president is the uh, commander in chief, and they are over the armed forces. Whether we agree what they do or not, we swore an oath that we're going to defend your rights. We're going to defend your freedom. You know, whatever we have to do, even to a point where people have given their lives to defend your freedom. So when people are coming from other countries and coming in the United States and pointing their finger at you about, uh, and I've seen it happen. I remember I was in a store and I saw it happen where at the time the 9-11 happened and units were deploying, we had someone from the from the Middle East countries in the store arguing with people about, um, you know, uh, whatever the, you know, at the, the radical Muslim belief and they were pointing their fingers. And I remember there was a service member that said, you know what, you are entitled to whatever belief you have because there are American soldiers, American, um, <clears throat> American fighting soldiers and Marines and armed forces that have died in order to support the rights of freedom of speech and your beliefs and the freedom of religion. So you have the right to say whatever you want to say. However, um, you know that Americans have paid the price for you to be able to come to America to express your opinion. But I would advise you because the way that you're talking, why don't you go back to your country and do the exact same thing? You don't have the freedom to do that. So I want you to take in consideration that we have given you the freedom to do that, to come from another country, to come in here to express how you feel. But we need you to respect us because we gave you that right. People have paid a price and have died in order for you to be able to say what you say. Well, there's no different in your recovery. You paid the price to, to give a voice to what you've been through. And you have paid a price, you know, to tell your story, to tell what happened. It doesn't matter whether people believe you or not, but you have the right to tell your story. But you also have to pay a price for your recovery. You have to take in count and you have to take in consideration the cost of what is it going to take for you to recover. You know it's going to be painful. You know, but you have to make it. Do you want to live? like this and die commit suicide or have them kill you while you're in this or much would you much rather go through this emotional pain in order to get to your recovery don't say you can't do it because you got many coaches that are on youtube and are spreading the the word that have paid the price we paid the price to come and talk to you so it is possible and we sit here as an example of where where you can go with this. Yes, it's painful. Yes, it feels like you're going to die. Yes, it feels like you don't, you don't have any support. But there are people on this tribe, those of you that are in isolated areas, that have been through some of the same things that you have been through. And so there is a cost to your recovery. There is a cost to your recovery, whether it's financial or whether it's emotional or both, you know, because you will pay an emotional price of recovery, but you have to make a choice. What do you want to do? And that's the only way that I can usually help people when they come into counseling. You can tell me the story, but what do you want to do after you tell me the story? Where do you want to go from here? Because I'm not going to sit in the office and keep listening to your story. You tell me your story. I'm going to validate your story because I know it's true and it's real. Now, where do you want to go? and What do you want to do? So where do you want to go and what you want to do? Me now we're going to have to address you. We're going to have to address your emotions. We're going to address how did you get here? You know, why did you make this decision? How did you make this decision? What? So a lot of things become less focused on you to divert you from the path that you were on. And addressing you is sometimes very painful. So hopefully this has helped you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this. I want you guys to know, first of all, I'm going to send out a shout to my angel in Canada that sent me that precious gift. I want you to know that I am currently working on podcast. As a matter of fact, I was just sitting here working on uh, uploading some things, not uploading, but setting up the um, podcast um, and putting some information in there. And so I want you guys to know, uh, you know, even the price of that, you know, uh, now uh, you have to understand that when people are, are, are 
you know, putting, you want to put this information out. You want it to get into the legal system. You want to get it into the educational system. You want it to get into the school system. You want family law to have this information, but do know that this cost, you know, it costs money to do this. It costs money to move forward in doing this. And so with the help of a tribe, and that's on any channel that you're on, with the help of the tribe, we can make it happen faster because you just depend on the person that's talking to you. And that's anybody you support. If you're just depending on them, the progress may be slower because because you're dependent on them to do it. But when a tribe comes together, it takes finances to move this stuff through the system, to move this stuff, you know, to get to get this into law, to get this to travel, to talk to people um, within the education system, to to move forward with bills and and you know, it takes finances to do that. And so my lovely angel in Canada has blessed me with a gift and so with that gift that she blessed me with um, I'm now um, creating the podcast and a lot of you um, heard the radio interview with my dear friend long friend um, Mr. Brian Cor Bryant Corbett um, and he is 104.7 KISS FM um, him and I uh, used to work together at J103.9 WORJ the heartbeat of the city the wiregrass area in Alabama and so him and I used to be DJs together on the radio station there and then our paths took different directions directions and so thank God that we were able to connect after all these years and him and I are working together now um, concerning radio broadcasts and so we're working on that and working on whether to um, do a talk show uh, you know and and um, he's the DJ and I'm the rapper so you guys know you see you guys don't know where that come from you just put it down in the comment box but um, we're getting together to try to put some radio programs together I'm working on the podcast now and so also you guys wanted to hear the book in audio so you guys have to be patient with me because I have to practice reading the book on audio. I'm a fast talker. So I know that everybody is not a fast listener. And so what I'm doing now, I have to practice in order to put it on podcast. It will be for a fee. You know, that's not free. That'll be for a fee so that you guys will have the aud the book on audio. Uh, and that's uh, the um, Unmasking the Illusion of Perfection. You'll find that on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. You can get it uh, on Kindle, ebook, or you can also get it um, uh, a soft book or a hard 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 or soft cover there we go um but just give me some time because i have to practice reading the book out loud it's easy to read it to yourself and keep you know but when you're reading it as a professional i have to get practice on that so i gotta eat a lot of chips to keep my mouth dry you guys know i'm out and i smack a lot so i have to practice that but i will put it down I will put it down uh, uh, and let you guys know when I put the book on on audio on the podcast. And so thank you guys. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Got mail. So I got cards now, but uh, can't can't make the uh, mailman mad. But um, those of you, um, you, you can go to Barnes and Nobles, you can go to Kindle. Uh, so give me, you know, give me some time. Be patient with me. I'm practicing. Um, uh, I have to practice reading the book in order to put it on audio. So that takes a little while because there's a few chapters that you have to read consistently. And so those of you that want to donate, have been asking about donations. You know, go uh, down to my link under YouTube, and it is. Um, uh, my cash app and my paypal and you can um, donate some of you have donated thank you so much if you donate fifty dollars or more put your address and your phone number in there and i'm going to send you my book uh, a, a signed book um and other than that you know that is what i'm working on right now and bryant corbett and i are working on some uh some more radio interviews and um we're talking about a radio talk show radio because we have a really good dynamic uh, and he's been knowing me since i was a, a young whippersnapper uh, so and he was my mentor that taught me about radio and so thank you guys so much for your support you can also go to my youth uh facebook channel which is uh, overcoming narcissist abuse and there's also um psychological health consultants and services and so one is my professional the other one is my book and so thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys thank you for buying the books i am so honored thank you so much um, i have just gotten an email today just let you guys know this is from your support <clears throat> I got an email today from my publisher um, who um, they said that this book is going to the top. It's going to the top. So it's a good, it's a, it's a, well, it's not a number one seller yet. It's a, a, a seller and they want to um, let it be reviewed by Harper and Collins. You guys know those are uh, professional um 
publishers, but they would like to send my book to be reviewed by Harper Collins. I think that's what it is. Harper Collins, one of the editors and publishers there uh, to refine the book and put the book out there to have it reviewed um, for the public. And so thank you guys, you know, leave reviews on, um, Amazon when you purchase it leave reviews you know what did you think about it hopefully it helps you guys out I'm so honored thank you guys so much for your support you guys are the best tribe ever and I wish uh, you know when I went through what I went through I had uh, you know connected with people like yourselves you guys are really you guys are so much fun really you guys are so much fun and some of you guys are so hilarious you guys are so funny and I love it so you guys take care of yourself thank you guys so much uh, for supporting my channel and you guys go and be great